Thanks, Bruce. You didn't have to read that. It's really a pleasure to be in this really fine uh, journal. Uh, the piece published uh, in an earlier version came with a, an epigram, and I thought by way of explaining it, the piece a little better, I thought I'd read that epigram. So the piece is titled Hooked. And uh, in the earlier version, I had this as a well, starter. Memory, a sponge, a vessel swelled with want like water, a blowfish, a balloon of finest flakes of flesh, but beware of the eagle bones. And it might also be served by this thought. Consider what you gain when you forget what you have lost. <laughs> Out of sleep, light, slips light, slips fingers, under sheets, untangles mine, from yours, out of hours, unfolds me over you, onto feet, into day, forgive the day. Hand in hand, on steering wheel, steering big apple into little mirror, we angle east to deep, wide open. The belt loops around it all, dry, flat womb of queens, bully chin of kings, loosens at Atlantic altars, Avalons, Gravesend, Seagate, Oriental, bare, bright, brighten, past Amelia's field to Reese Park, Breezy Point, Seaside, and nearly far Rockaway. Rockaby. And oh, we used to fish, aching, arching, rods unreeling, slipping line into wave beneath foam, bending over backward breaking wave, the barb, the tip, the hit. Float and foam and rush to fall into forever after falling, toss and twist and turn to falling, to turn, to now, returned to now, to no line, to no real, to now, to unheld empty hand, to useless elbow still bending and unbending, to head, to heart, to now, to hooked, like fish, or bait, or boot. Kick me, I hunger. Clams or mussels or abalone, but not fish, never fish, can't risk fish. So peering over shoulders into other people's buckets, staring toward Paris from the pier off Coney Island, almost falling. Thank you very much. So since we have so much time, I thought I'd read 30 or 40 other poems, but they're very short. He'd come to think life was bent out of shape, but he was mistaken. It was his bicycle wheel. I just flew in from Chicago, Boy, are my jokes tired. I knew she was psychic from the moment she told me. It's a short fan letter to Betty Grable. I heard about your legs, slender and world famous. I have not seen them, but I can imagine traveling all the way from the ground to Hollywood. The dirty joke. My aim is true, it's just my choice of targets. <laughs> that look you gave me, how much does it cost? 
I got the shakes. Now I just gotta get the habit. <laughs> if I called you from New York on Tuesday, 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and left you a message on your machine in California on Monday, 9.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, how come I haven't heard from you in six years? <laughs> I should never have fastened my balloon to your belt loop. Sometimes we fall together, sometimes we fall apart. Seeking partner who will overlook my neediness, desperation, banality, shallowness, transparency, pettiness, smallness, and overall mediocrity and accept me for what I truly am. Have you seen the Good News Bible? He doesn't die in the end. <laughs> Meeting new people is like arriving in the middle of a movie, except you're allowed to talk. Just a couple more. The divorce settled. She got everything, I got everything else. If I had to do it all over again, I'd really complain. <laughs> if I didn't have flashbacks, I'd have no memory at all. I've never had a fatal accident. <laughs> to boldly split infinitives. This is pretty new. A poet on point. Blistered by inconsequence. Riddled by steel before powder and shot. With nowhere to go but out. I chew tongue to taste blood. Elevated to chalice. Bring the offering home. Sweat the hard stuff. Stain the carpet. Bring home the news of my relief under duress. But now, shadow me. I'm going transparent. I'm letting the sun go. I'm kissing the ground goodbye. So long, second nature. Hello to first. Here, perception precedes reflection. Blah. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Thank you all. Thanks, Glennon.